Good morning, guys. Still on adverbs. I want to caution with a couple things today. Again, speaking with the LY, but also, uh, again, really focusing on the when and where after a verb, which, which is also adverbs, right? So uh, we got all these different answers after a verb. They're all adverbs. Not that every word after a verb is an adverb, but it, anyways, what I mean is this. Come on, here we go. So adverbs modify, well, they can add, modify adjectives, adverbs, but most of the time they modify verbs. And this is really what we're focusing on for our first couple of weeks of adverbs here, okay? It can answer when. I will call you tomorrow. Where would do something? I. What would I do? I will call. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Where? Right? This is what we focused on yesterday. We have another slide of this to go through it. We played. We played where? Outside. Outside. Now, when you talk about these, this is kind of the in what way and to what extent. It it's also can be summed up as how. Okay? He selfishly refused to share his toys. He refused. How? Selfishly. Okay? Um, here's what I really want you to focus on is that you cannot say, oh, all L-Y words are adverbs. Say no, because here's a lot of good examples of words that are, end in L-Y that are not adverbs. So yes, if it does answer the question how after the verb and ends in L-Y, then it's probably an adverb, but not always. I just want you to remember that. Here's a couple more examples of the where and when and how, right? The chef cooked happily. Who or what did something? The chef. What did he do? Cooked. Cooked how? Happily. I know it's going all the way back to August, but that's the way you got to do it, just like you've been doing well the last couple of weeks. Find the subject, find the predicate, then answer the questions. That's why we went through subjects and predicates way back when in August. How about where? The chef cooked. Cooked where? Outside. When the chef cooked, cooked when? Yesterday. I also have this chart. Now, this was in your paper packet yesterday. It's not in your paper packet today, but if you want it, you can go back to yesterday's paper pack and get it. But these are common adverbs that answer how and then where and then when. As you can see here, we have a, a nice little sentence that, that has three different adverbs, one how, one where, one when, all going back to munched. But here is your assignment for today. You have this word bank down here, and you need to pick the correct adverb that fits each sentence. So he swims. Now, uh, you can have a, a verb, an adverb here that shows where, outside, or how, nicely, or when, now. Uh, it's just trying to get you to see that a lot of these are interchangeable. Now, you're going to have some that that uh, had to be specifically where or when or how. But it's to get you how adverbs work and to get you to remember that adverbs, they can be anywhere in a sentence. They could be the last word. They could be in the middle or towards the beginning. Or I know we don't have an example in this section, but they can be the first word in a sentence. Adverbs can appear anywhere in a sentence. But hey, guys, here's your assignment for today. We already have uh, yesterday and today done. We got two more days in English. No school Friday. Lord's blessing to you as you praise your Savior.